It's real it's bad if you don't. Yes, it's pulled it. me in. It's pulled me in. Oh, you're coming with us. I'm, I'm coming with you. Someone pushed the button on the jump drive. <laughs> Everything's getting warm. The fur on my fluffy dice is congealed. <laughs> Beautiful corner towards the promenade areas and now passengers are advised that we'll be jumping out of normal space shortly. When you get there, can you wait for me to do a bit of refueling before you jump to the next one? Okay. I was going to say, you guys are jumping from space to base. Sec Star Class K Sector Wolf Eight Six Seven. Do 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 do. Uh, what's your favorite Star Trek opening music, Chris? What's my favorite what? Star Trek opening music or opening sequence or opening my credits. favorite opening sequence? It's got to be Voyager. Oh, Voyager. Voyager is the bee's knees. Yeah. I like the Voyage one as well, but um, I like the Deep Space Nine one as well, the original Deep Space Nine one. Yeah. Deep Space Nine um, is is a weird one because no one expected it. It's like, wait a minute, you mean they don't go anywhere? They're just orbiting the same... <coughs> wait, how does that work? But then they were in direct competition with another sci-fi series, mm -hmm. Babylon Five. Yeah. And I said this to John before and drew on one of the other ones. I'm certain that the reason why they put the Big Dominion and Battle War storyline in Deep Space Nine was because Babylon Five had done something similar and it worked. You ready well, to go, Jeff? I'm ready to go. You the think DS DS Nine was created as a direct response to Babylon Five? I think um, they were competing, but I think the Dominion War storyline was direct response to that. Oh, point. okay. In fact, do you know the um, Deep, in Deep Space Nine, one of the um, Starfleet generals, guy had a moustache and beard. Yeah. He was on Babylon 5 first. He was playing like a, the same sort of character on Babylon 5. And because he went to Deep Space Nine and um, decided to do the same sort of character, they, they killed him off on Babylon 5 and replaced him with someone else. <laughs> You get pulled in with us. I'm Sick not there yet. Sitcom Malice. So, yeah, there's a whole, there's a whole competition thing going on there between the two things. I mean, I think that's that's like a, that kind of level of geekdom is something that escapes me. <laughs> I think. <laughs> oh, I just like Babylon Five. Oh, I'm coming with you. Dead or alive, Three, two, one, engage. Ready for the next jump. I'm jumping in to the next to Lord 117 thing. How many wolf star systems am I going through right now? <laughs> this is once this one's gonna be painful because it's right next to the star. Next sector Everything. is Anarchy Sector, Jeff. Hey, yep. Yeah, let, right, let me refuel them first. Cancelled at the last second. I'm getting a lot of new astronomical stuff out of this, so it'll be worth something to somebody. Hopefully. Are you refueled or are you still? I'm ready when you are. All right. I'm not sure where you are. Hey, I'm Matt Gilgamesh. <laughs> Discovered one range. new astrological object. It's a star. Where are you? What system are you in? I'm just coming up on Gilgamesh. What system are you in, John? Uh, I'm currently jumping to LHS 278. He's jumping I... to Lord 17. That's where I am. I'm in Lord 17. Oh, Lord. Making the jump to LHS 278 now. Is it the... Um, Anarchy. LHS 278? Yeah. That's the drive charging. 
final destination is Furbade. Oh, Alright. Right. On my way. Try not to die before I get there. Are you jumping out again? I'm just doing a bit of fuel scooping first. It says you're still at Lord. Oh no, I'm jumping to the next system. Right. Oh yeah, you're in Super Cruise now. Here you are. Preparing the charge. 36 Ursus Majurus. How far have we got to go? Um, eight jumps. And then I think there's one jump over for his last. Oh, we didn't do it. I didn't do it that time. Come here. Oh, it's done it. Huh. Got there. Thirty-six Ursus Majoris. Thirty-six fair amount of this particular trip back apparently is just going through the sectors we got through to get to where we were. <laughs> well, I suppose it's going to be quicker to reach back then, isn't it? This is a proper pleasure Whee! cruise. Like, this is a jolly. How much is it paying? Uh, oh dear. What did you do? Sparkling. Six hundred sixty-five thousand seven hundred thirty-two credits. One okay. ident one unidentified scan archive, and four insulating membranes. Okay, I'm just doing a, a data run for twenty thousand credits. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The, pas the passenger missions, if you can get the big ones, are like millions. But then you need the ships that can take the... Oh, I'm being interdicted! Escape this, surely. Oh, boy. You need the ships that can be able to take the millions of people. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Escape. Whereas my ship can take a couple of people in economy and three people in first class. My poor little Ella. I don't know, how big is the Cobra Mark IV meant to be? <laughs> Not as big as the Ella, so... Come on, boy. Come on. Why do I get interdicted and you don't? Don't know, but thanks for taking that. <laughs> <laughs> that going the wrong way, where is it? No, it's too far out. Still saying you're being interdicted on mine. I'm still... I'm, I'm not out of it yet. Still? Oh. hanging in there. Stay on target, Jeff. That's the plan. Oh, oh. dear, that's not no. looking good, Jeff. It's taking me out. Well, you've got a pretty good ship, though, so... I don't have any cargo. Competent? Okay, I've got this guy. <laughs> orbital flight engaged. I don't want to orbital flight. I'm... Oh. Oh. Yeah, I do. You're landing on a planet. 
T turns out I am. I did not realize, realize this. Crap. I don't like these beam lasers, I've decided. Glide engaged. Oh good. So, so glad that, oh my god. Landing on a plane, I did not think. Oh, everything's making noises. What is that unit of measurement? What? The dimensions of the show for... <laughs> what, what? I may have gotten a little close to the sun. I thought I was going to skirt round it. It turns out it was warmer than I expected. Well, I've got the dimensions for the... for the ship, but it just says 33 by 48 by 8. Glide complete, huh? It's just taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I don't like these beam lasers, John. They are pretty much for the shields. Why? Please, oh, please approach Mr. 75,000. Ignore the red flashing lights, Thaddeus. <laughs> you know the thing that's partly on fire. Bye bye. Oh, 21k. 21,000 for that. Nice. Now, where are you? Uh, quite a few systems on. Great. <coughs> Specifically? Uh, I'm currently uh, currently about to jump into LFT fourteen seventy two. Uh, it's not ideal. Plus, I would need to cash the bounty in here. Oh, you cash the bounty and I'm, I'm basically where I need to be for this mission. Okay. Mm. I want a long, slow approach to, Lou to Louisville survey. I think I'll switch back to my multi to my multi cannon. Just got eleven new astronomical objects. Furbade. That's where you are. Oh no. Station is 6,000 lights. One new astronomical object. Fair 
Five, eight, three. Oh, so <laughs> Is that your next stop for you? Carrying on. He wants to go to Furbade 3 for some reason. See where he wants to go. Well, three. Can you not find it on your map? No, I can find three. <laughs> Are you flown to oh, three? There it is. He wanted to go see this Belongu Blight mem uh, memorial thing. Hmm, only had one. What a surprise. Okay, three landing pads are lit. I've no idea what time it is. <laughs> well, guys, I have to jump ship, unfortunately. No, I'm guessing it's not that one. Okay, we'll see so, you soon. Have fun and good hunting, yeah. and see you guys later. Oh, it's there. And you. See you Monday. Oh, leaving wing. How much have you got to do, John? Uh, I've got this and then one more stop to make, which I think is in the next system over. And then back to High Rocks and call it. Uh, I don't even know if I need to take him home. I'm guessing I'll probably want to go back home. Why should we stop all unavailable? Why is it always my paintwork? Okay, no, I don't need to land on the planet. There's an outfitting station here. <coughs> I'm gonna get my multi cannons back, I think. Okay. Reports began in February 3301 that despite the valiant efforts of medical staff, 
The LH uh, in Liandian LHS three five zero three five zero five and Furbate, the illness known as the Valungu blight, was spreading unchecked. Hundreds died in just twenty four hours from the disease. A rapid response medical team was sent from Effinga Port in the Furbate system to, in an attempt to contain the spread. What a happy place to take a holiday. And the Neely. They must have been switched. The list. Your ass. Choose your friend. Choose your Neely. Oh, holy hell. I can't transfer. This is 28 jumps, Jeff. <laughs> okay. <coughs> well, see you never then. Are you sure it's 28 jumps? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi guys, this is Jeff from Final Boss Fight, and I've got something special to announce today. Final Boss Fight has a store. You can go find it at finalbossfights.spreadshirts.co.uk. We have t shirts, you can see them. Wearing the t-shirts here, this is from our Let's Play With Tiny Nights films on Jackbox Party Pack when we were designing t-shirts. I'm quite proud of this t-shirt, this is the slogan I came up with and one of the other players matched it up with the logo, so yay, now I get to wear it, that's great. We've also got hoodies, we've got this hoodie here starring our very own warrior, Tack Taint, in good old fighting pose. Hood has got Final Boss Fight logo on the side. We've also got mugs, we've got hoodie with our other, one of our other characters' mirror on it. We've even got a Santa hat for the festive season. So do go and look at finalbossfight.spreadshirt.co.uk. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.